Hi, hello, and welcome back to Films as Food, where I geek out about films that I like and then take inspiration from them and create food. Quick disclaimer, I will do my best to stay away from major spoilers, but if you are 100% against spoilers of any kind and you haven't seen the film that I'm about to talk about, I recommend that you put this video on pause, go watch the film, and then please come back. If you leave me in an open tab, I will probably still be waiting. Okay, let's get started. So the film that I am talking about today is Arrival. Arrival is a thriller science fiction film directed by Denis Villeneuve. I hope I got that right. He is a French-Canadian director and I practiced the pronunciation of his name because I wanted to get it right. Sorry if I didn't. It stars Amy Adams, Jeremy Renner and Forrest Whitaker. So the premise of this film, Louise, played by Amy Adams, is a linguistics expert and she has been asked by the American military to help them find a way to communicate with these aliens that have landed on Earth in, I think, 12 different countries or 12 different cities. They are home to extraterrestrials. And Louise has to find a way to communicate with them and find out what it is that they want. Why did they come to Earth? What are they here to do? Eh. You'll have to watch to find out. So for me personally, what really stood out about this film is that, yes, it's a movie about aliens, but we actually end up learning more about ourselves on an almost philosophical level. Ultimately, we see through Louise the imperfections of humans, the things that drive us, the things that affect the decisions that we make what it means to create our own destiny, to choose what it is that we want to do and how we deal with the consequences of the things that we do. The more and more I think about it, the deeper I go into this like rabbit hole of thoughts and I don't want to go there by myself because I feel like I'm not going to be able to get out. And last but not least, the ending. After the first time you watched it, you probably had no idea what was going to happen. It's one of those films that really stays with you after you've seen it because of what happens in the end. Well, of what we find out in the end. I found myself thinking, if I was in that position, what would I do? Would I have made that choice? Would I be able to live with having made that choice? If you have a chance to watch it, I really recommend that you do. And if you've already seen it, what do you think about it? What did you like about it? Please let me know. Okay, onto our dish now. The inspiration that I'm going to take from this film is, again, a little bit of a spoiler. The signs that the little aliens... They're literally like... <laughs> if you get what I mean. They actually came up with a real working language for the little signs that they... So they look a little bit like this. I wanted to take the visuals of these signs and create a dish. So. What I'm going to be making today is black squid ink pasta with a balsamic reduction. I know, right? Sounds fancy, eh? <laughs> so I chose the black squid ink pasta because um, after watching this movie and just generally thinking about aliens, I was like, what is kind of alieny? Spaghetti is kind of alieny, and also squids are kind of alieny. <laughs> And I was like, squid, squid, squids. Oh, black squid ink. In some parts of the world, it might not be very popular to incorporate squid ink into food, but in Japan, it's common. You know, the color of the heptapods themselves are black. So I thought black equal aliens in Arrival. So we're going to be making black squid ink pasta. And then around it, I want to do a design like one of the signs that the aliens project and I'm going to do that with the balsamic reduction now it's gonna be the first time that I try making a balsamic reduction so we're gonna see how it goes okay on to the cooking you're going to need some olive oil white wine now this one I accidentally bought a very fruity one but normal white wine is totally okay some balsamic vinegar and here I used pre-made squid ink pasta sauce, but I will be linking down a recipe below on how to make squid ink sauce from scratch. 
some garlic, about 100 grams of pasta, half a large onion or one small onion, fresh or dried chilies, optional, and some basil as garnish. And last but not least, some squid. This was squid that was already cut. For the balsamic reduction, I would recommend measuring out 250ml of balsamic vinegar. Here I measured out 150ml and I kind of regretted it afterwards. Bring the vinegar to a boil and then let it simmer for 10 minutes. There will visibly be less liquid in the pan and it might not look very thick at this point but remember that balsamic reduction is going to get thicker as it cools down. Last step, pour it into a squeeze bottle and let it cool. Next, onto the pasta. Cook it until it's al dente. In my case, I chose cappellini and it took about 6 minutes to cook. And set it aside. On to preparing our vegetables now. This recipe, we're only going to be using some onion, so just simply slice it like so. Before we go on to making the actual pasta sauce, I just wanted to show you guys the pre-made pasta sauce that I bought. If you live in Japan, you can buy this or something similar to it at your local supermarket. Now let's cook this sauce. So get a fry pan, put some olive oil in it, add in the garlic and chili, and cook until it becomes fragrant. Add the onions, and then the squid. After the squid's been heated through, add 50ml of white wine and let it simmer. Next, add in the squid ink sauce and mix well. Now, doesn't that look delicious? <laughs> and for our final step, turn the heat off and incorporate the pasta into the sauce. Now all we have to do is plate. And wow, look at that. The balsamic reduction is already in a squiggly circle on my plate. The reason why I have cut to this clip is because I started recording before I started drawing the circle on the plate, but my camera decided to only record the last one second of me drawing the circle. So unfortunately, I only have me drawing the design from this clip. But in order to draw the big circle, basically I just got the balsamic reduction that was in the squeeze bottle and drew a circle multiple times around the dish. And now, please enjoy me trying to draw little squiggly strands off this circle in order to try and draw one of the symbols that was actually used in the film. Can you guess what this means? So I tried to add a bit more of the balsamic reduction onto my plate to draw some of the other designs kind of towards the bottom of the plate, but it had become very thick in the bottle and it wasn't coming out, so I had to improvise. So this is what the final plating design looked like, and now to put the pasta in the middle. To create the kind of swirled pasta effect, I use tongs and a spoon to serve. Add some basil on top and a bit of chili. And we're done. So this is the dish. Mm, I can smell the balsamic vinegar reduction. <laughs> Maybe first of all, let's try the balsamic reduction. It was my first time making it. Mmm. It's really sweet. It's got a bit of a like a tangy flavor, but wow, that's it's really sweet. So the thing about balsamic reduction is that you can use it as a sauce for both sweet and savory foods. Mmm. It's quite nice. On to the pasta. It's been a while since I've had anything that had squid ink in it. Getting a bit of the balsamic reduction on. How many times do I want to say that? Mmm. <laughs> That's yum. <laughs> it's really nice. So I chose cappellini because it's very thin. Wow, I just realized I'm wearing white and eating squid ink pasta. I'm such a genius. Obviously, squid ink itself doesn't really have a taste, but it's more of like a umami situation. A lot of people describe squid ink as having a kind of like a seafood umami taste. 
And I can really taste the garlic in this. As you know, the sauce was already made, but I added garlic and chili and white wine into it. And I feel like it might have elevated it just a teeny weeny bit. And also the balsamic reduction goes really well with it. It's sweet. It really helps to tie in all the flavors. Overall, it might look a little questionable color-wise. <laughs> it tastes really good. I love basil. Quick. Check. At least my teeth aren't black. Okay, so my final thoughts. How much do I think that this dish reminds me of the film Arrival? I would say it's pretty high up there. I mean, color-wise, texture-wise, formation-wise. And I was really happy that I was able to draw a lot of the detail of like the signs that the aliens use. If you want to make any dish, you know, just a little bit fancy, I would really recommend trying to make balsamic reduction. Just remember that when you're heating it up, you're going to try and heat it up to the point where it's like at least half of the original amount, which means that you're actually going to have to be boiling a lot of balsamic vinegar from the beginning if you want a lot of sauce to be plating with. Visuals, does it look appetizing? I would say yes, other than the fact that it was black. I mean, personally, I don't think black food looks that weird, but a little strange, maybe. I think it looked pretty appetizing, pretty cool. The taste, amazing. I am legitimately looking forward to eating the rest of it. So overall, I'd say pretty successful. Let me know what you thought about this dish. Would you try it at home? If you make balsamic reduction for the first time, let me know how it goes. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and giving this video a... I was going to say a like, a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and see you on the next one. Bye!